We need to cheers with my pumpkin spice latte right now because I have officially spotted Code Orange in my area, not one but two different stores and multiple versions of said store. So like this is full on Halloween, we're here, decor hunting season has started. I've been hearing people shout about this on the socials for I wanna say two weeks or so. Like it's it's been a long time, but in my area, nothing. Could not find anything, not even empty shelves. I went to at homes two different times last week, nothing. Did talk to a human that worked there and they had said, yeah, we're not allowed to put anything out until July 5th. Because I pulled over my phone and showed it. I was like, it says that it's in stock. And they're like, yes, it is in stock in the back, but we can't bring it out until July 5th. So I was like, okay, that's totally fine. Just kind of logged that out of my brain. And I was like, okay, July 5th, that's when I'm going to start decor hunting, which is pretty typical for when I start anyways. So I forgot about it, came back, crocheted for a little bit. Then saw at Joanne and Fabrics that they had this really cool yarn that screamed killer clowns. Placed an order pickup for this yarn, walked into Joanne's, and right away I saw that there were two empty rows. So I was kind of like, oh, I'm just gonna go check it out. Maybe they'll have the papers that have the setup and like you can kind of see the themes for the year. No, they had full on home decor setup. There was about a row and a half that had things on it and several end caps that were empty and had the paper all set up so everyone could know how to like place all of the decor. That was the first time that I went there. They brought most of the stuff that I had seen the first time were things that were like repeats from last year or just kind of like staples of Joanne home decor. So we have the cauldron planter, the giant skulls, the different animal skulls and skeletons. I did notice that there was a spot for really, really big skeletons that are like noisy. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna turn the eyes on, but when I clicked it, it made the loudest noise in the world. And I'm sure everybody appreciated that. We had some skeleton crows with like bones sticking out, but some of the feathers still there, old timey cars, things like that. As that lit up, they also had the classic Halloween tree with the purple and black or the orange and black. So like the light bulbs were either purple or orange and the tree was black. And on the top of it was a pumpkin. This is something that is actually on my list this year. I have always wanted one of these. I see them come back every single year and for whatever reason, I just like don't pick it up. I'm like, oh, I'll get it later. And then later it comes and goes and then they're gone. The other thing is they had little tags underneath every single row and it said 40% off, put it up at this date, which was today. This was Tuesday. The first time I went there, now it's Thursday. I went back again to see what they had, if they had anything more out, and they did. They had a ton more out. We have the rugs, which is also on my list this year. Honestly, I put some of them in my yarn dungeon too, like where I wind my yarn. I like to have a cushy little rug over there, and they're the ones that are nice that you can just vacuum right over. I like changing up the theme for that. I saw a skeleton pumpkin head, which is actually my favorite out of the two and this one again did make a ton of noise even though I knew that it probably would because it was right next to the skeleton I was like I gotta push it I gotta know so I did and it made the same noise well not the same noise but the same level of intensity of noise there are two lines that I'm really excited about the first one is this distressed ghost and it's kind of found its way through everything so I found it in fabric kitchen decor indoor and outdoor and baking. So there were towels up already with it. I don't know what it is. I think it's just, I really like the black and white contrast and the ghost is just adorable. And I can see it like in my house in every different area, but particularly the kitchen. I was really excited about that. So the big mixing bowls, it's gonna be perfect for making all of my treats and like day to day from here on out, not just a candy bowl. I think it's designed as a candy bowl because it's really large and it kind of has the like tapered where it's like small to big, but it does have the matching dish towels, hand towels. Again, like I said, there were just a couple other pieces. So I feel like we might see that apron, maybe the mitts. I just feel confident that they're going to keep expanding with that. They also had it in every section of the fabric. So the blizzard fleece, snuggle flannel, 
cotton, um, the cotton canvas, so like indoor outdoor items, you could do whatever you wanted with that type of fabric. And it took everything in me not to snag up all of that right away because I love making fleecy blankets this time of year and just like redoing every single room in my house with that. And I think that's what I want to do for my bedroom, but it's like, okay, do I do the same for my kitchen and my bedroom? So I think I'm just going to wait. I did end up getting some fabric, some fleecy fabric of it because regardless, I'm definitely going to make some throw pillows with this. The second line was their witchy theme, which had a little bit of astrology mixed in with this really cool misty light purple over everything. So the fabrics were really freaking cool. They had skulls that had wispy purple coming out of it, like a little bit of flowers that looked like they were disintegrating, and the jars. Oh my gosh, the jars are so freaking cool. I wanted one of every one. I don't know what I'm going to put in them, but I wanted every single one. And again, right now, everything is 40% off. Yes, there may be sales that get to be a little bit better. Sometimes it gets all the way up to 60% before Halloween. There are some crazy deals. And also you can do the thing where if you order online, they have coupons for 25% off to pick it up in store, all the way up to almost 30% sometimes, depending on how they're feeling. Those trinket containers, so freaking cool. They had the little snake on the top of it. The glass was just so pretty. They also had this adorable apple that lit up. I don't really have anything to use that for for any of the themes in my house, but they were just so freaking pretty. And the glass, the opaque, like it was just, I don't know. If you're doing anything with a poison theme, toxic theme, witchy theme, make sure you check these out because they are amazing. I did grab a couple of things for the very first week of Halloween home decor hunting. This is one of the two reusable bags that Joanne had out and it says Big Witch Energy. So like this is what I'm talking about. This wispy awesomeness all over. It looks like smoke, smoky magic all over. And this was not the smallest. This is their medium. So they had a smaller version bag of this but I wanted to get fabric and yarn. So this is normally the bag that I get. I'll probably get the extra large bag too when I get a couple of bigger pieces of home decor. But first up, we have the yarn that I initially went to go grab. So this is the Big Twist yarn and their value yarn, another one of their new colors, and it's called Rainbow Bright. Keep in mind, this is going to be used for some of my killer clown projects. It's just perfect. I do not know if it's UV reactive or not. Since I just brought it home, I have like a bunch of it here. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but not only is this a brand new color, and totally perfect for my theme of decor. It was on sale for less than $3. So each one of these, which is 269 yards um, or 4.3 ounces, this is also the same line that had the slimy color. Do I have that? No, I've used all of it. It's being used in a project already. But anyways, neon colors this year seem to be hitting strong. And I just thought, well, obviously a cardigan is what I would like to make with this. Um, it's a number four weight medium, suggests a five millimeter, but I'll probably use a 5.5. It's not anti-pilling. So you just kind of got to watch out for that when you use it to make wearables. But obviously, I don't mind because I've got a ton of it and I'm going to make some beanies. I'm thinking some fingerless mitts to go with it too. Basically head to toe, killer clown themed everything. I want a full set for when I go into the haunted houses. Honestly, I really wish they had more of this because I would love to make a Tunisian crochet blanket with this. I have some killer clown patches, so a giant patchwork granny square Tunisian crochet blanket. 
would be magic. Like that would be, okay, so I have an area over here. Let me just show you actually. Okay, so this area is not totally finished yet. That's why it's like super dark. Um, but I have my little rocking chair, which I need to recover and my record player and stuff back here. But this is gonna be kind of my setup for, it's like where I read and listen to my audiobook on Sundays. It's where I relax for the day. So I'm thinking like a blanket just kind of hanging over my rocking chair would look amazing. Also, I have this little stool right here that I thrifted the other day and they had a ton of fabric out already. So I'm gonna recover this. How much was this again? $3.99 for this little stool. And it's just totally plain, blank canvas, ready to go. But yeah, that goes right there. And I just literally have the best time in my cute little rocking chair. The fabric that I got that I absolutely did not want to miss out on, this Distressed Ghosty. Could not let this go. This was also on sale on Tuesday for $3.99 a yard. A yard. $3.99 a yard. So I think I ended up getting two yards of this because I don't know <laughs> what I want to do with it. I only know that I want to have this. I think I'm going to make envelope pillowcases. And it's either gonna go in my bedroom or it's gonna go in that little corner. Now, if I make the blanket with this, that's for sure, this won't fit there. So I kinda need to decide, really what I need to do is just sit down, grab my calendar, my little pen and paper, and decide what I wanna do for every single room. I'm really impressed with myself that I have the yarn dungeon all picked out. This is the earliest that I've ever had this picked out and like stuck with it because I change my mind quite often. Like, do we think it's too much if I do matchy matchy? Because they have the anti-pilling micro fleece or like the blizzard fleece fabric and I'm definitely gonna make a blanket out of that. So I could do two throw pillows of this on my bed, make the blanket, have that as a throw over my duvet, and then maybe do two like solid, either white or black or like black and white stripe. Ooh, actually that would look cute. Two of these pillows and then two black and white stripes. I'm sure I'll think of something else too. Okay, cool, solved. This is gonna be part of the bedroom. Now that means I guess we're doing ghosts for the bedroom this year. Now I gotta keep that in mind. Actually, I need to write that down because as I'm going out and about, I need to find some lighting and I also need to do some wall decor for my bedroom. Okay, this is exciting. This next one is not new. It was actually out last year and maybe even the year before, but every time I've passed it up and I just thought it'd be a good one to have as like an accent piece, it would actually even work as a pillow up here with all my killer clown stuff. Uh, just to kind of like break up the intensity of all of the neon that's going to be in here, which is going to be so extreme. So I, again, got two yards of this, and it is the Snuggle Flannel Fleece too. Pretty much I do that with all of their Halloween fabric is I watch for not only when they come out with new stuff, but also when they have their sales. So right now they are having their sale for the Flannel Fleece and the Blizzard. So anything that I want to make for blankets this is a perfect time which I like to do a little crochet border on the edging of it I'll end up just getting two yards of it do perforate edge around it and then crochet into it but it's 50% off right now which is pretty crazy there are a couple times in between now and Halloween where we get all the way up to 60% but it's never a super like known when that's gonna happen I don't know anyways I'm sure somebody does but I haven't been able to figure it out so 50% off is pretty good. Either their Big Twist yarn I use to crochet into it or the Big Twist Living yarn. I also like that one. And I think there's a Big Twist, the Big Twist Anti-Pilling. There's a black and white one. And that goes obviously good with pretty much any fabric that I pick for Halloween. The last fabric that I got, again, is not new, but they had a massive sale on it. So this is the canvas or cotton canvas. I think I'm gonna use this for the stool. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And maybe make a pillow to go with it too, like a floor pillow, just so I can have another area. Cause I like to lay down and read sometimes at the end of the night, just kind of like stretch out, do some yoga and stuff. Uh, so having a big giant pillow up here would be really nice. And these are just really easy to clean. I feel fairly confident that it's gonna go 
well with one of my blankets that I'm making at this moment, which has total mossy vibes. So it just looks kind of like it's in the forest, things are decomposing. I feel like those two are gonna go well together. I did end up checking Home Goods just to see. I had very little confidence that there was gonna be anything there. One that I went to, every row was still full of summery time stuff, barbecue themed. I even looked on some of the end caps. They didn't really have anything. As I was walking out, there was one cart in the middle and all the way on the bottom, they had a row of kitchen towels for Halloween. So I got to see a couple of those it's gonna be July 5th like that's when it's gonna be honestly I'm really happy with what I was able to see so far because this is much earlier than I was expecting was incredibly happy to grab my hands on it because this was all that they had in store if I love it, which I do, I'm gonna have to grab some more of this, I think. Like that's, there's no way around it. So that was my adventure this week for Halloween home decor hunting season 2023. Let me know if you went out yourself, ventured, found some goodies. I did not go to Michael's, but I feel very confident that if Joanne's has some stuff out this next week, we're gonna start to see some things in Michael's, in my area anyways. If you wanna help me out, I would greatly appreciate that. My kitchen. I do not know what I wanna do. I thought I wanted to do slasher theme again this year, but I'm starting to see some of the really cool themes. Joanne's kitchen section, and I'm thinking I maybe wanna change my mind, maybe do bats this year or a haunted house theme. I don't know. If you have a suggestion, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, that is it for the very first week of Halloween home decor hunting season of 2023. I hope you have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.